enables you to win the race. We have two teams here, a team from the Technical University of Munich. We have another team which is Arrival. Um, they are basically coming from the autonomous transport side and on these events they need to compete against each other. I can be funny. Germans are funny, <laughs> aren't they? Hi, my name is Johannes. I'm from the Technical University of Munich and I'm the project leader of the TUM Roborace team. My name is Max and I'm from Arrival. I'm a product owner of self-driving system. Because this is the first time that we've ever tried it, it's never been done before, this autonomous overtaking. We've had to make sure that it's safe before we can increase the speeds. Autonomous racing cars, they don't have drivers, so there's a few different decision-making processes that have to happen. So what basically happens, like in Formula One in the DRS uh, regulations, there's a trigger zone and an overtaking zone, and if the uh, following car is complying to a certain criteria in the trigger zone, the overtaking is triggered, and then the lead car is, has to stick to one side of the track and uh, the car in the, in the rear can try to overtake it. I think, uh, first of all, it sounds really easy, <laughs> But the problem is the other car behind has to be fast enough to do really the overtaking. The overtaking will be the most difficult part of it. Even in the normal motorsport, overtake uh, is the reason for mo most of the crashes. So that is the most difficult part. And this is the most dynamic part. So both, uh, AI, both AI cars, they are recomputing their trajectories. They are recomputing their speed profiles. Uh, they're in close proximity, so their sensors are affected too, so lighters can be affected, cameras can be affected. So this is the most difficult and the most interesting part of the whole thing. TUM is a, a big brand name, it's the name of our university, Technical University of Munich. My professor, he got involved and he said, yeah, this might be a cool project. Our team consists of seven different people. We started two years ago uh, when one of my colleagues and I started to get involved into Robo Race. From the first day on, we figured out a plan of how we want to work in the team and a, a plan of how we want to set up the software. For us, it's the first time in our development. We're driving on a racetrack and we're overtaking each other. It's really difficult, it's a complex task. We have to make sure that it's a safe overtaking, first of all. In a second step, we have to make a fast overtaking because yeah, we are in a race application scenario. It's not in a city or it's not on the highway, it's a racing scenario. I'm Therese Smith. I'm number one mechanic slash test driver for TUM. So everything that's on the car, I built with uh, some of the team back at the factory. So yeah, both cars, uh, Arrival and TUM, uh, both exactly the same. The software is going to be programmed by the teams themselves. So Arrival will do the software for their car. And uh, TUM do all the software for this car. In our team we have a development team and the implementation team. So the implementation team is actually running all the live events and all the field testing. My role is to arrange the test plan, coordinate every activity down to testing. So the concept here with Robrace is that uh, everybody has the same hardware, meaning we all have the same car. The difference is purely the software. The testing in the real test track is still very different from testing on the simulator. When you come here, there's so much to learn how the real car is, is really driving under the control of the self-driving system. So I'm Tim, number one mechanic and also test and development driver here at RoboRace. 
So up to a certain speed in AI, we have humans in the car as well. This is to make sure we get the feedback of a human driver. Just have to tap the brake pedal and I'll take full control of the car. The first few runs as driving or not driving an autonomous vehicle, it's new, it's different and it takes a little while to get used to it. And you're there to make sure that the car is doing what a human would do and better. So the benefit for the real world of what Robo Race is doing, of what the teams is doing, is not as abstract uh, as it sounds. Say on the motorway, you're going to have to overtake lorries, you'll have to overtake other vehicles. These are exactly the same decision-making processes that we will test on track. You know, we're hoping to provide some really exciting overtakes and some really exciting autonomous racing and really showcase the decision-making of autonomous technology and, and how safe it can be. It's a really challenging process, um, but we're excited to be able to achieve it. This is the very last run, so one attempt only. Rebel race. Rebel race.